Jews don't realize that the Lord God of Israel is Jesus. The church doesn't realize that Jesus is the Lord God of Israel. The Jews don't believe the New Testament. They don't see the kingdom of God. The church doesn't believe the Old Testament. They don't listen to Moses and the prophets. If you understood the church letters in the book of Revelation, you would know that the church rejected the God of Israel and threw him out of their churches centuries ago. That's why the church talks about God being harsh in the past, but kind and loving today. But God hasn't changed. And because they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, that's why the church has another Jesus, who is not the Lord God of Israel. But Jesus is the Lord God of Israel. What else? The Jews had their graven images. Now the church has its cross symbol. But God hates all idols. The Jews had their high places and synagogues. Now the church has its churches and cathedrals. But God never told them to build any of these. The Jews had Pharisees and Sadducees. Now the church has Protestants and Catholics. But God never told them to form factions. Who is greater, church people or Jews? God alone. Who do you think you are? God gave his word to a small nation, Israel, and they disobeyed him. Then God gave his word to all nations, an even greater revelation of his word, and they disobeyed him as well. And so comes the warning, not from men, but from someone much greater. The Spirit is saying, five churches must repent, two are synagogues of Satan. None of the seven are of God. You must overcome all the worldly churches of men for him to be your God Go to him alone.